Let me introduce you to a word I think you may have heard, but perhaps one that you, you don't really think about much. The word is ethnocentrism. All cultures, to one degree or another, display ethnocentrism or the tendency to evaluate a foreigner or outsider's behaviors by the standards of one's own. I've done it myself. I've done it in Europe. I remember uh, traveling to Bad Kreuznach, Bad Durkheim, Heidelberg, and seeing things in the 1970s and 80s that I wouldn't see in North America. And my first reaction was, if this is so good, why don't we have those? Because everything we have is really good, right? And I used to get a chuckle from my my friends and colleagues in that part of the world. And what they were saying to me is, yeah, much of what you have is good. But we hang on to some things that we have because they work for us. So in many ways, we're quick to judge other people's cultures by our own standards, I think you have to look at it from their standards first and tell yourself you're not necessarily better. You are different. Now, I understand you've got a value system, and we talked about that, but some values are central to us. Some are out at the attitude or opinion level and, uh, and can change relatively easily. So cultures do display the tendency to believe that they are somehow superior to all others, you just need to keep that in the back of your mind as you look at others and watch the ways they behave. Look at the norms and the mores of other cultures. We do take our own culture for granted and we somehow see our behavior as correct and others as somehow wrong or incorrect. And the reason that exists is that ethnocentrism can enhance group solidarity and group cohesion within a society, and in many ways, it refers as well to communication and language use. The other side of the coin, however, is that it can also foster prejudice, contempt, inaccurate stereotypes, and conflict, and I think we have to be cautious to keep that in control.